a friend of ours um, um, asked us to do a full restore on this, uh, but keep it absolutely original as possible. This was uh, his father's uh, hunting knife, or one of his father's hunting knives, so it's definitely a treasured possession. Um, so I'm going to go very, very easy on this restore, very light restore, if you will. I'm just going to bring it back to... Um, to where it would have been um but keep it absolutely original so i'm not going to be replacing any components on the knife okay uh this is the original leather stack all right which is in good shape there's no uh no broken or missing uh pieces of the stack so we're we're, we're not even going to remove this okay we're gonna we're gonna restore what's here or bring back or expose uh, the beauty of this knife, okay, um, we'll set that aside, as far as the sheath, the sheath has got some issues, okay, uh, we've got some thread, uh, missing, okay, so we're going to restitch this by hand, uh, the rivets are in good shape, so we're just going to, we're going to clean those up, the leather itself, we're going to clean up and condition, We've got the, uh, the strap, uh, the retainer strap, which is broken, okay, so you can see the snap end is, uh, is, is broken off, that's fairly common, especially for the age of this, this is probably uh, 50 to 60 years old, this knife, okay, so um, we're going to replace that and match the leather as close as possible, um, the rest of this uh, sheath we are going to be able to save okay so it's just it's literally just the retaining the retainer strap all right so we've got some thread missing down over here so we're going to replace all of this thread okay with new thread this thread is shot okay so and we'll bring we'll bring this leather back to life okay and uh and give it another uh another 50 or 60 years of service so that's it. So we're going to go ahead and, and start this restore. Really looking forward to this. And uh, we'll get it going. So a little bit about the knife itself. This is a Kif or Kif knife from Zollingham, Germany. Uh, that is a region of Germany that's about 25 kilometers east of Dusseldorf, and uh, it's a uh, city that's known as the City of Blades. So for, for many centuries, this region has been the heart of, uh, of bladesmithing, okay, going all the way back to me medieval times. So it's a very interesting uh, region of Germany, a very interesting uh, a company, uh, that made this knife, and this is a World War II era uh, military combat knife. Okay, so uh, it's a very interesting piece. We're going to bring this back to its former glory. One thing I'd like to display is to see if this knife will cut the way it is. So we've got a standard sheet of paper, and we're going to see if we can get this to cut. Not bad. Not bad. It will cut. We will be improving on that ability uh, by the time we are done. Okay. This restoration of the uh, World War II combat knife, uh, the KIF, we are going to start with restoring the sheath okay so we're going to do that first and then we will move on once we're completed uh, once we complete the sheath we will move on to restoring the knife itself so this will be part one of a two-part series
thread over the past 70 plus years has just absolutely disintegrated. Gonna hit this with a little uh, leather renew using my finger and a soft cloth. Just to loosen that area up a little bit, loosen up that thread, and also to help not, uh, I mean, to help it to become less brittle. Because right now it's a little bit brittle, the leather. So that will help it from deteriorating or cracking even more. Okay. Just going to continue to work. threads, the old thread, out, All right, well, it took some uh, some uh, time and some uh, stick to but uh, I have removed all of the old stitching. Um, yeah, so now that we have all the old stitching removed, we are going to uh, do a, a thorough, thorough cleaning. Okay, we're going to utilize some um, saddle soap and we're going to clean this and we're going to clean it and then after we're done cleaning it we're going to clean it some more and then we'll see where we're at All right, so um, we clean the the sheath with uh, with saddle soap uh, for I'd say for about a half an hour, and then we let it thoroughly dry. So you can see that uh, a lot of dirt, seventy years worth of dirt, came off of this piece of leather. And you can see the difference in the color here. All right, so uh, we've got some staining, which uh, is is really deep, which is fine. Um, basically, that adds to the patina. Got some staining in the front that's really deep, and uh, I didn't want to go any further with this. Um, you know, this really, you know, it shows it shows its use, it shows its wear. Uh, for some reason, uh, this was uh, rubbing against something that had a lot of oil, oils, and it stained it very deep. And so, uh, so that's not something that's going to be able to be removed. But you know what? That just, like I said, adds to the patina. So I'm, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to clean up the rivets. They came pretty clean, um, but we're going to clean them up with some 
500 or some 400 I should say um, with our uh, Dremel light see how that comes out All right, so we got this uh, cleaned. We've got the rivets polished out. Uh, now we're gonna add some Bix leather condi conditioner. Okay, so I've got the uh, the sheath conditioned. Um, it's in pretty pretty good shape. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna restitch the lower half at this point. We're gonna use a uh, a wax coated thread muslin and a nice uh, nice uh, contrasting color. Similar to what would have been on there originally. Might have been a little lighter. Um, but this is a very good match. Okay, so we've got the uh, the stitching on the lower completed. Came out really nice. Okay. Now what we need to, to do is fastener uh, strap. Okay. Um, yeah. So. This, this strap, need to recreate this strap, missing so. a snap on this side. Okay, so, um, the male end of this is torn pretty badly. I mean, if I had a snap, on this side, I'd probably save this, but being that, you know, we're, we need to recreate this side anyway, and this is torn, it's not going to match, so I'm going to make a, a new piece. Alright, so we have these two pieces, we've got the male end and the female end, okay, we've got a piece of le scrap leather. That uh, should match up nicely. Same thickness. Um, yeah, that should work out nicely.
All right, so we got the, uh, <clears throat> the strap, the brand new strap on there. This is what we were working with. Garbage. 70 years old, so, you know, it did pretty good. Um, yeah, so that's out. Brand new snap, brand new leather. Stitching to match what was on there. Okay. Uh, we kept it nice and original. Nice snap. Nothing like a brand new snap. Look at that. What we're going to do is we're going to hit this, condition this again with some Bic. Let that soak in for a second. Wipe off a little bit of the excess. Conditioner. Yeah, so that's it. That's where we're at. So this uh, sheath has been, uh, I wouldn't see restored. Um, it's been brought back to a condition where it's uh, it should not deteriorate any further um, it, it it it's able to be used or utilized again this could be used uh, on a daily basis okay if need be okay we will uh, we'll put the knife back in which we're going to restore tomorrow or at the very least, start the restore tomorrow. I think we'll be able to complete it. We're going to start early on this, get a full day in, um, and we should be able to get it done tomorrow. But we can see, just to get an idea of that sheath, where we're at. Okay. Very nice. Very, very, very satisfied with how that came out. This is a, really a refurb. I'm going to call this a refurbish. So our intent was not to restore back to new. We wanted to refurbish what was there and make it usable again. So what we did was we first cleaned it with uh, saddle soap. Uh, extensively I cleaned it uh, for about a half an hour 45 minutes just to get the build up on there okay then we uh, followed it up by removing all the old uh, dried out thread we put new thread in this is muslin so this is gonna last it's uh, it's a nylon component wax thread so that's gonna last a long 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 time um, we cleaned up and polished the rivets, okay, and then we built a new strap, okay, and, uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with, uh, where we're at with this right now, quite pleased, okay, looking forward to doing the restore of the blade tomorrow. That's going to be fun. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you found it enjoyable or helpful in any way. And uh, have a great day.